Hi, this is Chloe Laman um, in this beautiful setting of New England. We are on November 22nd, 2007. Uh, today's video is about what to do prior to going to the dentist and get your mercury filling removed. Well, before the intervention, uh, maybe a week before, just follow up on what you are, you are doing. Uh, do your uh, supplements, enemas, uh, saunas. Uh, take your EDTA under your tongue. Um, I wouldn't do anything the day before or even the day before that. What I would really focus on is after the intervention, you know, while you're you're recovering, the day after, I think uh, I would do some uh, EDTA again and some saunas, and and it should be good. Uh, of course, I would highly recommend going to uh, a holy dentistry clinic. Uh, where the person are aware of the mercury vapors and m take a particular attention in getting them out safely so you don't get any side effect. When I had mine removed, I went for the saving. Usually, holy dentistry costs a lot more than regular dentistry. I went for the saving and I actually turned out to be very sick afterwards. Now, I don't know, going to holy dentistry, how much better I would have been. But, uh, but you know, uh, it, it lasted about two, three days after that. I was really sick. And uh, after that, I was back, back uh, to my regular um, being at the time, which was sick. Uh, but mo not, not like I was very, very sick. Um, so I would highly recommend you just follow the the, the procedure listed on uh, chloralaman.com and you can see on all the videos uh, nothing very special uh, to do just uh, just have a good affirmation think about having a good affirmation the day of the removal of the feelings uh, such as uh, I'm going to have uh, a beautiful day of healing um, starting with a visit to the dentist and ending uh, with rest uh, at home or planning to do something fun and exciting. Um, I wish you a very good day. Thank you.